Hey there again, everybody. Uh, Models Gaming back here. Uh, Lost Soul Aside released this video about three hours ago, give or take, of the full gameplay of the demo at the PSX for this year. There were a few things I wanted to go over about it because there's a lot of things I was worried about that this actually shows and touches on that I'm pretty happy to see. Now, you can see that there is a meter underneath this health. The top bar is the health, the second bar is a meter for dashes and certain skills it looks like. The last bar, of course, is a special meter, which is what he's about to do right here. Which kind of makes me happy. The first time I played, or I, I played, the first time I saw this, well, it's not that special, you see the actual one. I didn't really know what to think that bar was, but I'm going to go back here real quick because I want to touch on something, and it kind of went by really fast, and this took me a few times to notice. This guy's actually going to switch um, weapons here in a second. And it's seamless. There's no animation cue where he has to change stance or anything like that. It just goes from one chain of attacks into the next in the combo. See if you can catch it. Just watch. See if you can if you can catch it. After. It's after the special, of course. Not during it. Now, see, he's already got the weapon out at this point. Um, but it happens so quickly, so fast, it was seamless, and that's something that I really like, and especially in these fast, fast-paced action games, like, this is just pure speed, pure blitzing and brutality, blood and guts going everywhere, it's fantastic, it's the type of stuff you expect from things like Old School Devil May Cry, or heck, even the gameplay in the new DMC, the gameplay wasn't what the problem was with that game, anyhow. One thing I do want to touch on, uh, one of the few things I do want to touch on is how it seems as though every single one of the weapons they switch to, if it does switch to a third a little later on, has a ranged attack and a close range attack, which is good. It can be helpful in situations where you need to put some space between yourself and uh, situations where you need to be up close and personal, maybe mix up the two. In addition to that, the little avatar that's following him around actually does help you. It is part of your combination of attacks, it's part of a uh, little special attacks that he can do. That's pretty, pretty good and it's kind of unique. Normally you have a little avatar following you around these adventure games, they just kind of point out things to you. Uh, check this out, listen to this, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, looking at you, Navi. Now, this particular boss, since it does show even up in the top right corner, game under development does not represent final quality. Y'all might not be able to see it because of my camera, which I leave on because I want y'all to see my reactions to this. For this particular boss, they may or may not actually have this in the finalized game. They do have a full team working on it now. It's not just Yang Ping. Um, the reason why I say that is because this video essentially shows you exactly how to beat this boss. So they may or may not want to have that in the final game, and if they do, they're going to tweak it really heavily. Now, if you'll notice that that special he just did is very different from the one he did in the earlier part of this video. I believe that each weapon as it stands right now has its own unique special trait, meaning that your fighting style and your specials, your moveset, entirely change based on your weapons. Which can be pretty groovy, so you don't have to stick with one certain playstyle and uh, try to brutalize your way through the game that way. Some people I know are going to do that. They might say this weapon fits my playstyle better than this one, so on and so forth. However, if they give a wide variety of weapons, I'm going to pause that real quick. If they give a wide variety of weapons, that wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, the reason why I pause this here is I'm going to go back a little bit. I want to show you all something. This is actually pretty cool. I like it when games do this. This boss gets staggered, and it opens up a opportunity for him to do a special unique attack that does additional damage to the boss and also puts him in a more vulnerable position. So after taking a lot of damage, he gets staggered right here. Now he's staggered, an option opens up, and boom, a unique attack that puts him in a vulnerable position, and more of a special is just relayed upon him. Now I noticed that even when he had one weapon out, because that was not a seamless transition as in, as in him switching weapons, but when he had the particular double blade, double sided blade out, and he did that special, it still went to a full, full longsword kind of deal. And I think that those type of specials, the vulnerable specials, are always going to be done with a main type of weapon. I'm not saying that they're all going to be long swords, but in fact they may, he may in the game may end up in, involving some type of weapons that do specific things for specific vulnerable specials. That's what I'll call them for now until we have a more um, more information on what those what those abilities are actually called, what they're what they're uh, accompanied with and what actually causes them to be what they are. Is it a certain weapon? Is it an item you hold? Is it a piece of equipment, gear? We don't know yet. Now I will say that uh, 
they do they are showing that you do have potions in this game. This guy started with I think twenty, he has seventeen now. You can see on the screen where it shows you the controls to use said potions. Now this boss did have a second form. It was one of those typical anime money. I I have seemed to underestimate you kind of deal. But that's not a bad thing. When you have these kind of action romp games, you want it to be dramatic. You want it to be like, oh man, what a relief. Hold on. Of course, this isn't your final form. You want that kind of thing. The whole purpose of these kind of games, when you get into them, is to keep your adrenaline rushing throughout, to keep your blood pumping, to keep your heart heart beating fast, so you're not just sitting down for too long and really, you know, letting letting too much sink in. I'm sure the game's gonna have a fantastic story, but let's be honest here. Most people get these kind of games for the gameplay. If when they do end up having great stories, it's it's wonderful, but the main focus here as far as far as the expose is the gameplay again put him in a vulnerable position give him that vulnerable special and does additional damage now essentially this is just a cutscene i'm not sure if every boss is going to have a cutscene where they end up being defeated or not but this is pretty neat that much being said guys it's pretty much the end of the video but i wanted to go over that i kind of like what the direction this game is going i actually really like the direction this game is going and well, just just from one video to the next, it answered a lot of my my questions about it, and that's great actually. Just from one video trailer to the next with the full demo gameplay, it answered so many questions I had going. Um, is it going to be seamless with the uh, with any of the transitions? Is it going to be a smooth a smooth combo links? You know, are we going to see differences in attack? What kind of bars are we going to see as far as health? mana, or I'm guessing mana, or it's a dodge bar basically, use stamina is probably more appropriate than a special bar, shows that you do have potions, shows vulnerable specials, vulnerable abilities, different type of specials based on your weapons, things like that, so far so good, uh, guys keep up the great work with this, I think Lost Soul Aside has a great bright future, and now all I'm actually going to start looking into more of, and, and so, well if they show more gameplay and it's just blowing my mind more, I'll talk more about that, but I want to see more of what the story revol revolving around is. I want to get into some of the lore, dig a little deep on that. Um, again, if they're at PAX South, I love to I love to talk to them, but I don't know if they will be. We'll see. Anyway, guys, as I always say, have a great morning, noon, or night. Get a little joho in your life, and if you have it available, get some coffee in there too. I guarantee it'll be better, unless you like tea or something of that nature. But for now, guys, I'm signing off. As always, it's been wonderful. Y'all have a good one.